Hey everybody, I'm Jessica. And I'm Holland. And this is Librarians Explore. Today we're talking about one of our all-time favorite things. Plants! We are going to show you our own personal plants, the library's plants. And we're going to talk about how you can get your own plants, learn to propagate them, and take care of them. But first, we're going to go inside and check out my personal plant collection. Welcome to my sunroom. This is one of my favorite rooms in my house because it's where I keep all of my different kinds of plants and some of my art projects when I'm working on those. I have over 55 different kinds of plants in here. I have tropical plants and cacti and succulents and different types of ferns. Some of my favorite plants in this room are my Monstera deliciosa because I really like how the leaves split as the plant grows bigger. Another favorite is my angel wing begonia that has dark green leaves and polka dots on them. And it's currently blooming, which makes me really happy. And another of my favorites is my pothos. I really like my pothos because it's easy to take cuttings from and take those cuttings to make a new plant. Hello and welcome to Mikasa with my personal plant collection and my Rona. Some of my favorite plants here are my pitcher plant, which is a carnivorous plant. It eats bugs. You have to feed it little bugs in through the top of it. I also have tons of succulents. They're probably my most favorite type of plant. And this one right here is my favorite. And it's got this nice big long stem and it's got flowers blooming on it. I'm so excited about that. And I also love long trailing vine plants because they are excellent to make cuttings from. Now we're in my backyard where I've got lots more plants to show you. I've got some fig trees I'm babysitting. I'm growing lots of herbs and I'm going to show you some of the vegetables I've got now. Here we are where all my vegetable plants are and my jojo. I've got strawberries growing, tomatoes, okra, and cucumbers. Welcome to the courtyard inside the library. We have tons of plants growing outside here. We have vegetables and lots of tropical plants, flowers. It's beautiful, you need to come check it out. It's open whenever the library is open. And most of our plants we got from the seed library. The seed library is on the third floor and it is free to you. You can get any kind of seeds you want. And that's how we grew most of our beautiful plants out here. Now we're up on the third floor, which is the business and science department. And we are with Blake and Sarah, who are gonna tell us a little more about the seed library. If you are interested at all in growing your own garden or even just a plant in a pot, we've got what you need. You just come up here to the beautiful and impressive seed library. You choose a seed that you're interested in and you just take it home. Do these cost anything or? They are absolutely free. They're free. Come Anyone get some seeds. can come in. You don't have to have a library card. You don't have to prove anything other than that you want some seeds and we'll let you take them. Now we hope that when you grow your plants, you will let some of them produce more seeds and save those for us and bring them back to share with others. But we have all different kinds of, of seeds here. We have cool weather um, se uh, plants that are going to, that are, you can plant them now to grow this fall. The thing is to come get them now because so that they can grow through the through the fall. We have a nice long growing season here, so we can get two, two crops a year. And we just picked up some pumpkin seeds, so you need to come to the courtyard soon to see the pumpkins that we'll have growing. Now we're going to show you how to propagate plants. Propagating plants is where you take one plant that you already have and you make plant babies from it. It's super easy to do. These are some succulents that I propagated. These you basically just break a leaf off and you set it in the soil, give it a very small amount of water and lots of sun, and you can see there's already a little baby growing. I use an ice tray, which is very cheap and easy to do. And now we're going to show you how to propagate a pothos. And we're going to take some cuttings. Oh, stop that, naughty plant. 
This is also super easy to do. You want to use clean um, shears. If you don't have clean shears, make sure you wipe them off with alcohol before you use them. And we are going to cut this. So when we cut this, we want to cut it close to the node. So you want to make a cut right here, just like that. And then make a cut here, just like that. So you're going to put this in some water and the roots are going to come out from right here. It's very easy to do. You just stick it in like that. Make sure the parts that you cut are completely under the water. And then you give it some time and eventually roots will grow out of this. You don't want them to get too crazy long. You want them to maybe get, you know, a couple inches long and then you're going to put it in the soil to grow. And these work really well inside. They don't need a lot of light. Indirect lighting is good. And when this video comes out in August, we are going to have some of these for you to pick up in the library. So after you watch the video, make sure that you come into the library and we shall have some baby pothos for you to pick up. We have some great books on plants for you to check out the next time you come visit the library. And don't forget to pick up some of the new baby pothos plant while you're visiting. Thank you so much for joining us today for this episode of Librarians Explore. I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about plants today, enjoyed seeing our garden at the library, and we hope you come in soon to get some plants for yourself. We'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, hi. Hello there.